Hello everyone! In this video I'll be going through the best way to cut down old bottles using basic tools to give them a nice finish so they can be used once again. What you will need. A wet tile saw. This is the cheapest one I could find, it cost probably about £30. You'll need to get a diamond cutting disc with it as well. I paid a little bit extra for a special glass one. It's just a little bit thinner. I have used the general purpose ones and they work completely fine as well. A rotary tool with diamond burrs. This is optional, you could just skip this stage and just go straight to the sanding but it just saves a little bit of time. I also found these diamond files online. Um, they, looked, <laughs> they looked a lot bigger in the pictures so I'll give them a go and see how they work if they do. Gloves for protection. Broken glass is pretty sharp and you'll get cut. Some safety glasses to protect your eyes. There's lots of chunks of glass fly about. Some hearing protection. I'm in quite an enclosed area here so it gets quite loud. If you're in an open area you might be alright but better to wear them. A dust mask. This is optional I guess with this because you're using wet saw so that shouldn't be any airborne dust. A selection of wet and dry sandpaper. I've got 240 600 and 1000 grit. That's for just cleaning and polishing the cut edges. And of course, you will need broken bottles. I've got a lot to get through today, so let's crack on with it. Because some of these old bottles, they're up to 10 millimeters thick. So you want to keep quite a shallow cutting angle. So I've seen people, basically when you're cutting, they sort of pushing it through and at this at this point this whole thickness is almost at 90 degrees cutting and that's when you get chunks breaking out of it so the best way that I've found is to lightly apply pressure and that keeps the angle quite shallow and basically just rotate it rotate the bottle at this shallow angle and then once you're almost through it should easily just like finish the last layer so just one layer, little layer at a time. It may take you a couple of cycles to get around and it's varying in thickness. So some, some areas will go through quicker than others, but that's the best way that I found anyway. So a little tip for you there. I've also got a broken cod here. I'm going to cut off the top and then make this top part into a candle holder as well. I've also got these um, broken marmalades. Uh, I'm gonna cut off the bottom make these into a couple of coasters. I think they'll be quite nice.
And as you can see, using this technique, it's a very clean cut. Like hardly any chipping at all. Just needs a quick bit of sanding and then that's job done pretty much. It's definitely well worth getting a good blade for this. I uh, managed to get through about 35 I think today. Um, it's just starting to get sort of a little bit blunt, but I think it's still got some more life in it. So here we have uh, one of the cut down bottles here. You can see it's quite a, quite a clean cut on this one. This, this is actually functional like this, but um, yeah, I'm just going to show you the file using the files. Um, you can see around the edge here, it's a little bit sharp and rough looking. Um, so we'll just give them a go and uh, see how that turns out. So these two were, uh, I think they're about three pounds off Amazon. Yeah, so let's see, shall we? So you want to you want to get it wet, um, just so there's no glass dust flying around. So and the file as well. Here we go. So you can see just here where I've done, it actually looks quite good. I'll just do the whole of it and uh, then we'll see where we go. So that's the top and the sides done. You can see it's not really jaggedy anymore. I'm just going to use this half rounded one uh, just to do the inside. So we'll just do that now. There we go, that one's all shaped now. No more sharp edges on that. Uh, it's still quite rough. Uh, you can see it's sort of got a sort of a frosted sort of a texture to it. The files did a great job. I think I actually prefer them to the rotary tool, to be honest. I think they'll be my go-to tools now for sort of quick jobs, one or two of these. The rotary tool is a bit quicker, but by the time you've got that all set up, you might as well have just got these out and uh, done the job really, and you have a bit more control over them as well. Depends on your preference. You could leave it like that if you wanted. But because this is quite a nice one without any sickness, we'll get to the sanding. But I will just go through quickly using the rotary tool because I've got quite a lot to do. So I'll probably do most of them with that. When you're using the rotary tool, you're going to need a little diamond burr. I'm going to use this one because it's just a flat one. Um, and that will be used to grind off the edges. I also got these. I use these to cut my first few bottles. So if you don't want to buy a tile saw, you can just use these with a rotary tool if you've already got one. They only cost a few quid. Um, it takes a little bit more time, but it does eventually get through them. It does struggle with the thicker bits though on the cod bottles, but yeah, it's another option if you uh, if you need one. As with anything, when you're cutting glass, it's better to have it wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this big two litre bottle here filled with water. Just going to use this little pin here. Just going to pin a hole. There we go. And we'll have a little spray of water. And then you take the top off and then the air can displace the water and that will spray it nicely. So when you're cutting, you can keep it wet. 
when you're using the rotary tool, obviously. Electricity and um, water don't really mix. So you want to put the extension on and use that instead. Keep the electricity away from it. Be nice and safe. And then you just hang this up and then you put the tool in the end of this one. So I'll just put that together. There we go. And we're good to go. So I'll just get this plugged in. I'll hang this up, get this plugged in and uh, get grinding. So I'm just taking the lid off. Well, I just, just unscrewed the lid. So we got our water coming onto our thing here. So let's do this. <laughs> how you do it with the rotary tool yeah this will be uh, ready for sanding now and uh, tidying up a little bit so next we're just gonna do the sanding so I've got three grades here I've got the 240 600 and 1000 so we'll start with the um, 240 uh, you just want to get some water on it Get your bottle upside down like that and then just rub it in circles like this. And you wanna you're gonna wanna twist it and change your grip every now and again just so the uh, so it gets done evenly. There you go, you can see it's a lot more smoother now. Just this little bit here where you can touch it up when you do the sides. So I'll just do that a little bit more, but then I think that's, that's gonna be uh, done for this. So it doesn't take too long. I did three other bottles on this one piece of paper. I just did uh, sort of a quarter for each. Uh, now I'm just gonna cut the edges off so I have a, like a few strips. All right, so. Got some little strips now. So now I'm just gonna do uh, one half of the strip, just gonna go around the outside, uh, just around the edge, and then the other half gonna do in the middle, and any other little bits that need doing. So let's just get it wet again. go looking a bit better once this dries it will still look quite frosted though so I'm gonna repeat this with the uh, 600 grit and then the 1000 grit so there you go that's just about done now last thing I'll do with that is I will just soak it in um, some brick acid for a few minutes um, just to get any um, any rust like just there 
I'll get rid of that and any other stuff that it's, you know, crusty stuff that's been that's gathered while it's been in the dump. Just thought I'd show you the, dif the differences. So this is the one that's just been cut. You see the edges and the saw marks here. Um, this one has um, been filed using the files. You can still see it's quite frosted, rough. Oh, just got it wet. Um, this is the one from um, the 240 grit. So, yeah, I mean, it looks good. Still a bit frosty though. Um, this is the 600. A bit better. And then the 1000. So, really up to you, really. Uh, all these ones that you could use as a drinking glass, I'm going to go up to 1000. Um, the ones that are a bit sick, like this one, um, I'll just go up to 600 and then I'll give it a coat of uh, lacquer. So yeah, that's just about it really. So I've given this a quick lacquer, just to sort of cover the surface. Um, now I'm going to stick a few feet on. So I've got these little rubber feet here. Uh, I'm just going to put three on, just to give it a balance. Um, so it protects any surface that goes on. All right, there we go, we've got the feet on there now. So that's looking good. Now we just need a candle holder. So for that, I've got this. It's a pipe reducer. Um, I think it's uh, 22, goes down into 12 mils. So this is a perfect size for a dining candle. Obviously it's got a hole in the middle, so uh, just got a cork, pretty simple. Just gonna bung that in there. Make sure it's in there. There you go. Bunged up. No wax is gonna drip through that, is it? And we've got our candle. It's quite a tight fit, which is good. There we go. One complete card candle. Um, I'm going to put um, four feet on this as well, the little coaster. Just the same ones, just these ones. There we go, got the feet on there. So we got ourselves a coaster. It'll, it'll stand on a flat surface, but this is deck, so perfect. So there you go. I hope that was interesting for you. And if you found this, looking for some tips on that, I hope it was useful. Uh, all the bottles that I've cut down in this video, they'll be going in my Etsy store, so if you want them, you can buy them. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, but yeah, until next time, cheers!